We are excited to share this trip with you after moving out to Colorado. This is our first overland trip since moving from Michigan. We started this trip in Idaho Springs and headed north through the backcountry. Right outside of town, we passed through an old mining town and soon ran into this amazing shelf road. She left me in the dust. She made me walk all the way up the hill. Ooh. It's a steep one. Very steep. All right, so now we're on Yankee Hill Road. Uh, we'll take this to Cumberland. Uh, Jess is driving. The easy stuff. The easy stuff. But it's awesome out here. In the afternoon, we ran into more rocky terrain. While the raptor handled them with ease, Quinn was less than thrilled to be on rough terrain. She would much rather run alongside and enjoy the trail. You probably can't really see it, but it's June, and we're driving through some snow right now. Look at this sleety mix. Who's that coming to? Oh wait, we did. It's not that cold though, it's like 50, so.
so we were just at 10 degrees a second ago. Uh, this is the Cumberland Trail. It's a little tight for the Raptor, but it can do it. It's pretty sweet so far. All right, it's time for cooking with the boards. All right, this is mashed potatoes and green beans and we've already cooked up with some uh, meatballs. Ooh. Let the fire and wind simmer down there a second. This is almost, uh, we just put in the whole container of green beans with the water. Let it boil down uh, to give the potatoes a little more moisture instead of them being a little dry. Uh, it's almost done and it's going to be delicious. Super excited for this hearty mountain meal.
good morning. Oh boy, what a night. Uh, it wasn't really that cold, it was just windy. Uh, so we're packing up and going. Uh, we listened to the weather. And it's not supposed to get any better. Yeah, it's just supposed to stay windy. Yeah. So, so we're we're we gonna head up Yankee Hill slash Mosquito Creek and find our way out to uh, I think it's 119. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. But we found a great campsite and it like protected pretty well, all things considered. But it was still really. Yeah, I think really the, the gusts were like up to 35, 40 miles per Probably. hour. It's up to weather All band, night long. Yeah. We thought it'd stop in the morning and it's continued on, so. We're calling it quits. One of the best things about living in Colorado and not Michigan is that, you know, we're driving out here 17 hours from Michigan. You're not stuck out here. We can just go home. It's not mm -hmm. like uh And go out next weekend if we decide to. Yeah, we don't have to force ourselves to stay out here. You guys can't be scared to take your raptor down pinstripey trails, all right? This is pretty tight. We're gonna brush on both sides basically all the way through. <laughs> Lovely. But it sure is pretty. Where do you think we go? Probably to the left. That's what I was thinking, but I don't know. I wonder if they just meet back up there. Probably. We go over this tree first.
way we just made that. It was so close. You had like it's a like couple inches, inches and like we probably could have chopped some of like the loose stuff off, but it didn't even hit that. Ooh, I thought we were going to turn around. It, oh, it would have been a long backtrack. Yeah. Let's keep going. Alright, so we're up here. I, I have no idea, but... Really windy. I don't even know if you can hear me or not. But like, look at this view. Because Jessica's seatbelt isn't on. Doing it for the shot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We love our new state and we're excited to be able to share this with friends and family. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing for more content.